Just Comics. Hey fans, welcome back to another Just Comics tier ranking video. You guys voted in a poll and there was a tie between Batman and a second Superman video, so we're doing both. Yep, but we're going to do Batman first. Yeah, we thought it'd be cool to alternate between Batman and Superman. Now you're probably wondering, what's the next Batman video going to be? Well, we had to split up Batman live action suits between movies and TV shows because there was just so many Batman suits. So many Batman. So many. You're probably going to ask also then, if this is the movies, where are the movie serials? Movie serials are a precursor to TV. They were episodic in nature. Therefore, by default, they are being lumped in with the TV live action suits. What he said. So basic rules are going to be for judging these suits. One, most comic accurate. So there's going to be a lot that just aren't going to fit that category. That was a rule we did for Superman. I feel that rule has to carry through here. However, because there's probably only realistically two suits out of these 16 that are comic accurate, we can't just have, you know, 14 Ds. So we're going to have to kind of judge a little bit by aesthetically pleasing as well, just to kind of offset that a little bit and get a little bit more variety in here. We'll introduce each Batman starting with the oldest appearance to the newest. We'll say who the actor was, what movie, and then the year. And then we'll go into our discussion about each suit. Sound good? Now, when you say comics accurate, because the comics vary on what exactly, uh, on which suit is accurate when there's year one Batman, there's later Batman. He does change up his style on occasion. Yeah, it just has to be accurate to a comic book depiction. Sounds good. All right, we're back on TierMaker.com, and first up, we have Michael Keaton from Batman 1989. This was a promotional image. It was the best I could find, and the cape is a little different than the movie. Here, it sits outside the cowl, and in the movie, it sits underneath it. What do you think of Keaton's first suit? You know, this is 1989. It's the black rubber. I mean, I thought it looked great. I always think that, you know, the fake muscles are kind of cheesy. Overall, I mean, you know, he shows them on screen, it's Batman, you're like, oh my gosh, Batman. They have the utility belt. Uh, it's not it, too clunky. It looks like it would, you know, have stuff in it. Couldn't move his neck. Kind of. You know, he could not move his neck. So, I'm thinking B for Batman. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Blah. Uh -huh. Next up is still Michael Keaton. This is uh, from Batman Returns, 1992. Now, this suit's a little different. Still can't move his head, but they went with a more armored look. So, personally, I actually like this better. What about you? It doesn't have as much of the painted-on muscle aspect. It's armored, so it has armored plating. The fake muscles look more like they're in use as plates instead of just aesthetics. Yeah, that's what I like about it. Yeah. So, do we tie it? With the other suit, or do we... I think it should be our first A. First A, okay. Wow. Oh. A, okay. A, okay. All right, who is next? So next, <clears throat> we have Val Kilmer from Batman Forever, 1995, in another all-black, muscly-looking suit with nipples. So we don't have an F, do we? No. Uh, D, then. <laughs> Why do you say D? Bad nipples, just in general, man. We're going to have a lot of Ds coming up in a row, then. Oh, well, then that's fine. None of the comic book versions had nipples. I mean, that's true. And the, and the muscles, again, are just overstated. I mean... It's actually kind of worse than the first Michael it, Keaton one. Yes, it is. Plus, the arm, the pointy arm guard thingies are just too, like, sharp as well. Like, this whole black on black on black on black, it just gives them way too much of a, a sharp, pointy, like... If I was an action figure, I would poke out your eyes kind of look. And this is the one that was for kids. <laughs> D. Okay, we're going to go with D on this one then. It's kind of hard for me to justify, you know, some of these suits. But <laughs> all right. Up next, we have Val Kilmer again. So he had two suits in Batman Forever from 1995. Okay, I like this one a bit better. Uh, one, because it's a, a gray suit, the bat symbol... Is also gray and not black, but that's okay. I'll give it a pass because the suit is gray and the belt is gold again. Wow, I'm not even seeing anything other than black. It's just shiny. And then, the black is a bit matte and shiny, yes. And then, I mean, I get the, the symbol on the belt's at least gold. Yes. Um, the muscles look a little weirder here. I don't know if I like it better or not. It's the muscles of, aren't 
over overstated. And the symbol's kind of lost on the chest. A little bit. Like I said, the symbol it loses a bit of points from the symbol. It's, it's not an S, but it could definitely be an A or a B. Uh, I was thinking C. It's uh, a step above the other one, but not much. That's true, but... It still has some comic accuracy and coloration, at the very least. It loses a bit with the symbol on the chest, like I said, but the rest of it, it stays pretty accurate to comics. B, I guess. I, I don't think this ranks same as Michael Keaton. Now we've got the first George Clooney suit from Batman and Robin 1997. <sighs> Kind of suffers from some of the same problems as the previous Val Kilmer suit, where it's black on black on black. The symbol, again, is a bit lost in the overall. But the nipples are shinier. The nipples are shinier, and the pointy arm guard thingies are not, like, out, overstretched out. So you like this better than the first Val Kilmer? I, I would go as far as to give this a C, or D.5, which we don't have, so I'd say C, maybe. All right, let's go see. All right, so we got George Clooney one more time in <laughs> Batman and Robin 97. This is his Mr. Freeze costume, which, <sighs> just so, look at it. Do we even have to go into this? Well, this now, is... in the comics, Batman does have various suits for various things. I mean, you've seen his Hydra suit, right? His underwater suit. It's got the blue and the helmet, and it just looks gaudy as hell. But does it have to look like this? Uh... Well, it has to have the white, so it's for freeze. Sorry. I'm sorry. I got to put this as a D, man. <laughs> okay. I tried to say, fans, I tried saving it, but I mean. <laughs> uh. All right. So now we're up to, which is my personal favorite Batman movie, which is Batman Begins from 2005 with Christian Bale. And this, so this is his first suit. I like the fact that it actually has pockets on the uh, utility belt. I mean, none of the other suits were actually accurate because he's never had an all-black suit. Now, it's a bit lighter, though. It's not quite all-black. Yeah. Um, and I like the tactical side of it, too. I yes. think that worked really well. I mean, I'll give it a pass once again because the uh, symbol should be at least colorized, but it's more noticeable. It, it pops out a bit more. And the, the muscles aren't overstated in his... Uh, uh, ninja arm guards aren't like, you know, Sha! so <laughs> I'll give it. They're, they're not all what, Seth? You know, like, Sha! out there, like pointy, like, hey, I'm going to stab you in the face with my wrist. Um, I'm willing to put this at A, though. So far, I don't think we have any S's yet. Uh, that's true. I'm all right, so now we have Christian Bale from uh, 2008 and 2012, The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, respectively, because the suit actually did not change for the first time ever. Batman got to keep a suit. So, honestly... He can move his neck. Well, he could move his neck some in the first suit as well. The in-story reasoning works. However, <laughs> I don't like the design aesthetically. No, it, it's too blocky. From, like, a fantasy perspective, Batman is a light armored rogue. This is more like a mix between chainmail and plate. It's, it looks heavier on him. It doesn't give him that light, I can sneak up in here and stab you in your sleep. Ironically, look. though, this was supposed to be the lighter, less protective version of the suit. It just looks like plate mail, man. Yeah. I do like the belt does bring back the symbol on it a little bit, too. Yeah, um... I mean, it's kind of hard to decide B or C. I think it's C. Okay. And drop that in right there. Mm -hmm. So huh. now we have oh. Ben Affleck, Batman versus Superman, his first suit, uh, 2016. Now, this is comic accurate. Very comic accurate. The colorization, the symbol, the suit color, the cowl and everything. This is quintessential Batman. The pockets on the, on the utility belt. It just looks like a cloth suit that he's wearing. It's great. I mean, this is not my favorite depiction of Batman by any means, but this is probably my favorite Batman suit. Yes. This is one that I would say is S. Absolutely. I would give this an S as well. Yeah. Perfect. So we're going to go from that... <laughs> to the Nightmare version. Yeah. So I f hate this suit. 
I'm you not going to like that he has a gun. That's your problem. No, why is he wearing a trench coat over his bat suit? He's in the desert. It's hot. Yes, so he needs more layers of clothing. It's desert punk. He needs to have a, a trench coat. What do you want? You can't even say that with a straight face. <laughs> I can't. But it's desert punk. I just it's, well, it's I saw it. I thought desert punk Batman. That's all I thought. It's stupid. Zack Snyder <laughs> does not know how to do Batman or Superman. Or shit. It's post-apocalyptic desert bug suit Batman. Come on, it's, there's not like Gotham by Gaslight where he's like a... Uh... No, no okay. it doesn't. No, <laughs> no, this is D. This is the bottom of the barrel again. Oh, uh, D. Sorry, Snyder fanboys and girls and people in general. Okay, and our third suit from Ben Affleck on Batman vs. Superman, Batman v. Superman 2016, this is the armored suit that he used to take on the Kryptonian. Now, this is straight from the comics from because this is completely inspired and looks a lot like the Dark Knight Returns armor that he wore when he fought Superman. So this has, this is comic accurate. It's almost the same pose as the last one we gave as an S2. What about uh, the fact that it's not really showing much of a symbol or anything, or is that also... I, I admit, I, I don't remember seeing this in the comics. If you have a... Of course, we're going to go to... Uh, Steam's box of comics to pull out the example. Yeah, no symbol, blocky suit, very armored up. All right, I'll agree, comic accurate. Well, glowy eye lights, but still comic accurate. Um, yeah, I mean, the glowy eyes are just an aesthetic choice that was mm -hmm. made, which I don't really have a problem with. I'll say S. So, yeah, um, because just I think S has got to be reserved for the few times we get a comic accurate suit. Absolutely. All right, so. After that, we now have Ben Affleck's 2017 Justice League suit. This is different than the other gray and black suit. This one has a lot of little patchy things on it, including like on the apps and stuff, which I thought was an interesting choice. Yeah, I mean, again, this brings back the overstated muscles. His pecs look weird. Yeah, I mean... I think the aesthetic choices that they made the, for this are for the worst. The belt is dark leather. I would put this one on the bottom half. Like a C or a D? I don't think it's quite D. I'd go C. C? All right. I'll, I'll give it a C. So now we have yet another Ben Affleck suit from Justice League 2017. <sighs> so they're, they're trying to do another armored type suit, but he kind of looks more like Night Owl from Watchmen than he does Batman. Yeah. Um, I'm, not, I'm not digging this one at all. No, the, the straps between <clears throat> the little armor plates and stuff. I, I don't care for this one either. No, I mean, if he's trying to go for like a... A Batman Beyond thing where underneath there's, you know, the ro robo assistant uh, gyros and whatnot. Sure, I get why it's a bit more bulky. But, like, nah. Yeah. Um, D? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go with D. Drop it that right there. Drop it like it's D. <laughs> All right, fans, bear with us. We got three more to go. And then a little color comment. All right, so now we've got Robert Pattinson from The Batman 2022. Now, Overall, I thought this was a neat design. Um, I like the collar, surprisingly. I, I didn't think I would. Yeah. But actually seeing the collar, like, and everything, like, like when I was watching the movie, um, it worked. Like, it was wow. a way to differentiate itself from the other suits. Yeah, I did not just like the suit. Um, uh, the muscles perfect. are not overstated. There's no giant, giant pointy arm guards. Um, not a lot of color differential. Not a lot of though. color. That's fine. That's... that's I mean, sure, the belt should probably be a little bit brighter, but the belt, again, is you is a utility belt. It actually looks like it has utilization to it, which I like. And the symbol is stated. It's black. You can see it. You look at it, and you go, oh, yeah, that's Batman. That's Batman's suit. That's Batman's symbol. Yeah, not comic accurate, though, so it's not an S. It, no. I'm not even sure if it's an uh, maybe an A. When it asks it's like canon B. Batman accurate, but comic accurate. I, I'd do a B. I'll allow me. All right. It's got some good company in that row. So. Yeah, so you did good, good. All right. So now I have to admit on these last two, we're looking at the Hot Toys version of these suits because I couldn't find good pictures of the suits. But Hot Toys is an extremely accurate depiction of the suits. So we're looking at Ben Affleck from The Flash 2023. It's got some weird 
honeycombs, some weird strappy things, and yeah. All right, from the colorization alone, it's pretty comic accurate. Belt is back to being a bit, bit brighter color. The ears aren't overly sharp. No overstated muscles. Colorization, you know, in the and uh, most of the body is correct. The bat symbol looks good. However, <laughs> it does look like he's wearing bolt-on gear on top of his costume. Like, you know, he's like, hey, Alfred, I got this, my regular cloth suit. And Alfred's like, hey, I just went to the paintball range. Here, put this on. Yeah, basically. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not a fan, really, no. of this one either. <laughs> Are we putting this one in D? It's not trash. D is trash tier. I want to go see. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll give it's that. because the colorization is good. It's just the choice of armor over stuff is a bit weird, but it's not trash. All right. So we have one more suit. It's also from the Flash 2023, but this is Michael Keaton's suit. Black on black on black, but the symbol is a bit shinier. It's got that older Batman aesthetic. It's got some really weird lines in it. It, it does. Like, I mean, honestly, like... No fake overstated muscles, though. It's a, I mean, to go from the Batman Returns suit to this is a big downgrade. Huh. And Batman Returns, so we, we put that one at A. Like, this is nowhere near that. Like, this so is... What, you think you're B, C? C? Yeah, again, I don't really think it's trashed here. So, you're kinder than I am on this one, but... So, but, yeah. Do, do you want to put it at D? So, I, I mean, if you... I would, but you said C. We're going to do C. I mean, come on. Look at what we have for D, and then compare it to that one. Does it really, really, does it really look like that one would fit with the, the rest of the Ds? Yeah. I mean, this is not too that different than the Batman Owl Man Justice League with <laughs> the right. goggles. Yeah, go for it then. All right. We have a Just Comics first. We are re ranking a suit. Downgrade. Yeah. But look, also, we got a nice stat going. We do. I like that. All right, guys. Let us know in the comments below how you think we did with our ranking. And please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And uh, look out for our Superman animated TV uh, suits. And then part two of this one where we do the TV suits, which will include my personal favorite. But let's not spoil that. Well, let's not spoil that one. And on that note, you guys take care. Have a good one. Yes. Uh, and uh, thanks as always for watching. And have a great whatever. We out. We out.